Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, came off a you know a, a, a tough loss for us Saturday. Played a uh, you know obviously a great team in Appalachian State. They did a great job on in all three phases there, and just were. Uh, better than us in a lot of ways. I thought our guys fought back and gave us a chance there in the fourth quarter, but just couldn't overcome uh, overcome their team. Um, bye week's coming up, which is at a good time for us uh, for uh, some injuries. Hopefully we get a chance maybe to get some guys that have been missing the last three weeks back for some games. We'll use it to recover, uh, work on some things that uh, we need to try to fix on our in our in our team, uh, and uh, get ready for uh, Georgia State here in a couple weeks. Thank you very much, Coach. Our first questions come from Alan Blondin with the Sun News. Please go ahead, Alan. Yeah, Coach, just if uh, if you can go through maybe what you have planned for the next two weeks prior to the next game, you, you give any guys any special time off or you have any special things planned? We'll, uh, we'll treat the, the week very similar to game week. Uh, we'll, we'll have our meetings today. We're off Sunday usually, uh, and then we, we have our games and – or excuse me, our, our, our meetings today as far as to go over the previous game and, and fix those corrections. We'll practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh, this week, and then uh, we'll give them off Friday, Saturday, then bring the team back in Sunday to uh, start getting ready for uh, Georgia State. All right. You, you, you know, we talked about it a little after the game, but um, you had a couple more days to digest some things. Uh just uh, what's your assessment of your team after five games and, and going into this break? Uh, there's, you know, there, I'm, I'm encouraged in a lot of ways, Alan, that uh, with the effort that we're playing with, uh, with the, the way some guys are stepping up, uh, especially with some of our injuries and, and they're playing and doing some good things. Um, uh, we still got obviously a long ways to go if we're going to try to be a, a good team and, and ultimately a good program from a standpoint of, of paying attention to details and, and doing certain things. We're not good enough, Alan, to uh, make mistakes. You know, coastal beat coastal and beat good teams. We're just not. We can't do that. Some teams maybe can. We're, we're not. And so that's the area that we got to continue to improve. Is just of us making sure we control what we can and and uh, and playing better in certain things. And I thought, you know, Saturday. We had a couple of things where we gave up some big plays, gave up a deep pass and cover three. You know, we had a young guy trying to do too much. You know, cover three, you shouldn't give up a deep pass. And, and that's what happened. We had a blown assignment on another touchdown uh, where, you know, they get an easy p pass play and uh, because we didn't do an assignment. So those are things that we got to try to continue to grow and get better at. All right. And um, in the situation of Isaiah Likely, do you have – is there any recourse? Can you appeal anything, or, or do you just have to accept that first half of the question? Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have to accept that. That was a uh, that was a bad call there after watching video. Uh, but uh, there's nothing we can do. They made a final determination on that, so um, he'll, uh, he'll miss the first half of our next game. 